Hi, so here I am at the Bat Hospital with Kiri. Hey. Hi. I'm about to pick up two whiskered bats. Um, so they are um, Merc and Uriel. So this is U Uriel and Merc, two whiskered bats that I'm going to be taking home and looking after for as long as Kiri decides. However. <laughs> Um, so this is... This is Uriel. Uriel. He is very angry at the moment. Can't focus. Okay, so Uriel came in to us. He'd been caught by a cat and he had some injuries along the side of his body. So after we treated him, we'd given him antibiotics and pain relief for a couple of weeks. And as you can see, he's quite feisty now and, and you know, quite better. But because he's a juvenile, it's too late in the year to release him. So he's going to be looked after over winter and he'll be released in the spring. Okay, so this is Merck and Kerry's going to tell you a bit about his background. Yeah, Merck came to us a few weeks ago and he's also been caught by a cat. And if I just open his wing up here, this is what I do every day to check how he's healing. And you can see there, he's got a big tear in his wing. And unfortunately what's happened is the bone has come, you know, the, the bone was injured and died back. So unfortunately that will never grow back. So he's not going to be able to fly again. So at the moment we're assessing him for captivity to see if he gets on well. And hopefully he'll be able to be an education bat kept under licence. And we go out to educational events and show people bats up close. We're about to put him in his transport box and take him to my house. There we go. Hold that up. You can see him in there. One of them. Okay. Hi, so the bats have arrived safely, so they're no home. They're not flying anymore, which is great. But they were, they were flying. I swear I'm not making this up. There are bats in there. Um, yeah, so they've got enrichment objects in there and the bits of wood to help them. Um, so that their bone doesn't get too long, like their claws, I mean. Um, and yeah, so I put some mealworms, so they're going to have uh, 10 mealworms each. And then they've got some tea towels in there to hide behind because they like nooks and crannies. And yeah, that's pretty much it. All safe and sound and settled. I don't think they even noticed they moved. So this is Chloe, my housemate. Hi guys. <laughs> So how do you feel about the fact that I've come home with two whiskered bats that are currently asleep right now? So It was a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> so short, yeah, um, I don't know. Uh, they, I don't want them to flap around me or for them to escape in the house. But they seem pretty chilled and as long as they don't fly, I'm pretty okay. <laughs> well, one can't fly. The other one can fly, but... We won't yeah. be, uh... Let's just hope they don't escape. They won't they escape. Won't. They'll be fine. Why don't you like bats? Because I just don't like them flying around my head and flapping and they dive for me. They do dive for me. I'm telling you it and they go for my head. I don't... Mm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you actually. <laughs> All bats have it in me. They do. <laughs> they just know. Oh, it's that. It's that kid. No, I just, they're just a bit weird. You don't really see them, do you, so. I think if people saw them more, maybe they I mean, they are quite cute. They're cute and fluffy, but people can't see that when they're flying around and it's dark. Exactly, and they're flying, which makes everything worse. <laughs> what about birds, though? They fly too. Exactly, and I have a problem with birds <laughs> if they fly around me. Thanks for watching and there'll be updates on that soon.